we're back again to help you improve your golf swing by improving your flexibility and strength. The last couple weeks, we've been working on improving your hip flexibility. We worked on the back part, the front part, so you have the overall. Today, we're gonna to start talking about some strength, some strength training for your lower abs. Why are your lower abs important? Well, in the golf swing, they pretty much support your upper body. Because have you ever seen a golfer set up to the ball and they're gonna hit it, and when they swing back, they have this. Their whole back comes up, their head comes up. When you do that, usually sometimes your legs straighten. Well, why does that happen? Well, it could be happening because of mechanics. There's no doubt about it. We've worked with people on that. But we've also seen it because of lower abs. They're not strong. They can't support. And what happens is because they're not strong here, as you swing back, it can't handle the stabilization along with the rotation. So now other muscles of your, of your body have to start working harder. Some of those muscles in your body that start have to work harder to keep you stabilized is your glutes, which are working, but now they gotta work even harder so they tighten up. And as they tighten up, you go like this. The second part that's doing it, and a lot of you probably feel this, lower back, back here. Because now this isn't strong enough, now you're swinging back and you've gotta stay stable and turn, how do you start doing it? Well, as you do it, this part comes in, and now as this part comes in, this here has to take over, and now you're wrenching the lower back. Kirk can tell you stories about people that he sees that do that, as long as I can too, because that's our business. So today, we're gonna help you. If you're the person that straightens up or picks up your head on the way back, we're gonna help you find a solution by strengthening these lower abs. Kirk, what's our exercise to help them with their golf swing? Um, it's basic lower ab exercise. We're gonna work on strengthening the lower ab, keeping the legs stretched out. Mark, I see, let's show them what's going on here. So we're gonna sit down, keep the knees slightly bent here, and we're gonna bring them a little bit higher here. We're gonna put your hands behind the ears, the other important part is, at what we want to do is come back until you feel a tightness in the ab. That's going to vary per right person. There. So this marks is here. So instead of, we don't want to lean the lower body down. We're not doing a crunch, we're working the lower ab. So we're going to bring this knee up and rotate this elbow over. So it's more bringing the leg up than crunching the body over. And we're going to rotate back and forth five to ten times. See how he's keeping his back tight, lower ab in, pulling the belly button to the spine, blowing out as he comes to the top and rotating over crunching side to side, keeping that body. Notice he's not leaning forward at all, staying tight in position. Good. When I first started doing this, well, it's difficult. When you, I first started doing it, what I started feeling was, is I started, Kirk had to correct me because I would kind of do a crunch here. Right. And that crunch is probably why, because of the lower abs. The lower abs are weak and you're trying to use the upper abs, which most everybody does. Most people, when they do a crunch, they think they're doing abs. All they do is move their head and shoulders. Well, the lower abs, the function is to move the lower hip and to stabilize through the hips and the core. Now, I've been doing this for a little while, but now we have other people that are just starting. What would be to get somebody who's a newcomer, beginner, how can we uh, adapt this for them? The best way would be to sit as tall as you can, bend the knees a little bit more, so your rotation is not going to be as much. Now put your hands behind your head. So as they lean back to get a tightness in the abs, it may only be this far. Okay. So what we want to do is mostly lift the leg up and do a rotation without leaning. So it's almost a straight across rotation with bringing the leg up. So the, the, the elbows don't have to hit the knees, they, I, No, I they still feel it. Yeah, they don't have to hit the knees. You just want to make sure that you're getting a, a feel through the oblique, the serratus yeah. and oblique in here, and then right below the belly button at, through the lower abs. Okay. That's the two muscles you want to isolate. So to start like that, you say even somebody who's just starting out, right. straight up, knees a little more bent, hands behind the head, lift the leg and try to rotate, even if it's just this little bit. Right. The lifting of the leg and the slight rotation will help them. And eventually they'll build up the muscle to where they can get more of that. Right, you can t you start off with easy and it advances your body a lot. That's fantastic. Try to do it. You don't understand how important this area is until you start understanding golf swing, like we've seen for years upon years. We're constantly seeing this on the way back. 
Now, if you come up like this on the way back, well, good things aren't going to happen. You're either going to come down too much, you're not going to come down and enough and top it, or every once in a while you'll, you'll get it good. Well, the reason is, is this. You're weak here, you're not as strong as you need to be, and because of that, you have to learn to stabilize on your turn, and because it's weak here, other parts of your body, your butt right here comes in, your back gets involved now, and now you're doing all this movement. Over the top comes from that all the time, this over the top, because of this weakness. Let's get this strong. My name is Mark Solomon, Golf Made Simple Golf Schools, www.golfmadesimple.com. Kirk Crisco, Kirk Fit, kirkfit.com, K-I-R-K-F-I-T.com. Thanks for joining us. We're looking forward to seeing you again next week.